Hey guys, Slice Walkthroughs here with another Mac tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get these Geek Tool weather scripts. And the weather image looks like it's finally working, but it's still a bit risky because this goes red sometimes and this disappears, but you just have to wait on it and it updates itself sometimes. I'll talk about more about the end. Uh, as you can see here, we've got 16 Celsius, mostly cloudy, and the right image and the two-day forecast is right, it's 16. I don't know why, but the low always seems to be one down from what this is. Maybe that old system wasn't as accurate, but it's still basically the same. Okay, so the files you will need for this is a weather file that I have made with the codes in it. I just wait for this to load up. Ah, here it is. So, as you can see here, we have got all of the codes and when you get this it will say your URL and stuff I will basically in this tutorial just be showing you how to get that sort of stuff so as you can see here I'm just going to delete the one that says United States California this is set for London so I do not know why it's got United States in it I was testing it earlier and I think that is why and as you can see down these codes haven't actually changed we've got the same basics but you can't get your um you can't get your area code anymore so I show you a another way to get the Yahoo area codes and basically so all you need to do is head to Yahoo weather let me just right so basically you open up Google Chrome or your browser type in Yahoo weather and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click the first one that comes up for you or something and once it loads up, you'll see that it has UK.weather. You do not want the UK bit, or it will say US, or whatever country you're in. It will say something before it. Just delete that bit. Otherwise, I don't think this works. So, basically, let me just head over to Geek Tool quickly and delete all of these for the tutorial purposes. Okay, so, basically, what you're going to want to do is once you've got the Yahoo up you're going to want to type in a location so let's say I will do London for this you can't use the main page one it has to have a URL layout like this like United States United Kingdom England wherever and all you need to do is go up to there make sure it doesn't say UK in front of it just weather.yahoo or US or whatever it will say in front of it just weather.yahoo and copy that whole code and go into the text file and paste it in where it says your URL and paste that in okay so now once you've got that pasted in just copy the whole code and drag a new shell and paste in the code right the recommended time for this is 300 seconds but for the purpose of the tutorial I will do one second I like to have a feedback image to know whether the codes actually working it takes a while to sort of get to work so it may display a red dot up there oh it's gone green already okay so now you're going to drag a image off geek tool and then copy and paste the weather image script so command c command v and refresh that every second you don't actually need a refresh rate for this i don't think but as you can see we have got the right image there Okay, so now for the current conditions and the two-day forecast, you will need your area code. But as you can see on this Yahoo thing, you can't get onto the RSS feed because they've updated that site and they don't have that anymore. So to get it, you go to this website here. The link for this will be in the description. And you'll come up with this and enter the location that you did for your image. So I'm going to type in London. Oh, didn't need that slash, but it doesn't matter. And you pick the one you want. So I wanted the one that was in the United Kingdom. So then I'll copy and paste the code just over here of it. One that says UK there. And I will paste it in where it says area code. So paste that in. I don't know why this is going laggy. Okay, so paste that in and paste it in both of them so you have it in them so you don't need to go back and just copy and paste the current conditions code 
drag a new shell and paste in that code. Again, the recommended time is 300 seconds, but I will put one second for the purpose of the tutorial. And you can choose any font you want, I'll just stick with that. And now what you're going to want to do is copy and paste the two day forecast one. And just copy that, drag a new shell and paste that in. And type 300 seconds, but for this I'll just do one second because it's a tutorial. Okay, so as you can see we have got them all working here. If you have any other weather codes that ran on the old system, just paste in that code. The, the only one that really broke was the image one, but you couldn't get your weather code for the people who were new to Geek Tool and new to Max, they wouldn't be able to get this. So this site is great, it will be in the description. And now I'm just going to talk about a bit about the bugs that you sometimes get. So sometimes this will completely disappear and this will go red. Sometimes all you need to do is refresh all uh, and, and check your internet. Just check it's all working. And basically if it disappears there it's because you've got the refresh rate on or this has just refreshed so it's trying to refresh the image. Even though it's the same it will still do it. And if none of these work and it's still red, just leave it up for a while and just wait for a few days and it should eventually activate itself. Or re try restarting your computer in the last sort of way to try and get it working. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. Please comment if you have any questions or PM me, like and subscribe.